Earl started short track at the age of 10 and quickly made an impression as a junior, winning three world medals in 2003. As a child, he used to split his time between short track and drawing cartoons, as he was obsessed with comics and used to dream of being a superhero. With his performance in Vancouver, Charles is now a national hero. He's also one of his country's most successful winter sports athletes of all time. My grandfather used to paint all the time, and that really inspired me. He gave me a taste for drawing when I was younger. I used to always be drawing cartoons or manga, especially when I was a teenager. But as soon as I started skating, that became the most important thing in my life. And so I had to leave the drawing and dedicate all of my time to my sport. And it's also true that the outfit we wear when we skate is like that of a superhero, which is great. So, I guess even though I don't watch so many cartoons now, I still get to feel like a superhero every time I go out on the ice. In the lead-up to the Vancouver Games, the pressure on Canadian athletes to win gold was huge. In the two previous Olympics Canada had hosted, they'd never won a home gold medal. The Canadian Sports Authority devised the Own the Podium programme to assist elite athletes with handling pressure and winning medals. was a resounding success. I never wanted to put too much pressure on myself by expecting a gold medal from Vancouver. My personal objective was to do the best I could. I knew I could win medals, but I wasn't thinking about the colour of them. In short track, you can never predict the result because the races are so fast and anything can happen. So I was prepared for the worst and ready simply to take whatever I had at the end of it all, as long as I'd done the best I could. Following Vancouver, Charles' form understandably dipped. Just a few weeks after the Games, the Short Track World Championships were held in Bulgaria. Charles failed to medal in any of the individual events, picking up just a silver in the team competition. Having to refocus on competition so soon after his greatest sporting achievement meant that Charles had to decline many of the media opportunities offered to him after his success. If I'm ever in the position again where I do well at the Olympics, I'll certainly do things differently. I regret not sharing my experience with others, to talk about my career and to inspire young people. I'd like the world to learn a bit more about speed skating, so I wish I could have let people know a little bit more about me. I don't normally like talking about myself, but would have liked people to understand a little bit more about the life of Charles Amelin. Charles is now back in full training and hungry for more success. Since 2005, he's won 19 World Championship medals, including seven goals. And yet, despite his incredible ball, there is still one title that's always eluded him. My big goal now is to be crowned overall world champion. That is the one medal that's important in the sport that I haven't managed to win. It's a title that means a lot in our sport and one that is now my main objective in the coming years. It's extremely tough to become overall champion, as you have to be excellent in every race. But I know I'm capable, and I'll do everything to make sure that I'm soon in a position to challenge for that title. That is my dream. The short track speed skating World Cup begins in Montreal in October, and with Charles Amelin now fully recovered after his incredible Olympic adventure, don't be surprised to see him producing many more golden moments on the ice for Canada. Olympic sports are relentless, and I'm completely committed to these next four years. Vancouver has given me extra hunger. It's made me want to experience another beautiful Olympic Games with my family. I'm dreaming of more incredible moments, this time in Sochi. I want to carry on enjoying my sport and leading my country to even more success. <laughs>